Hey, I'll be teaching you how to use the Part Picker plugin. You can find a link for the plugin in the description. The plugin is mainly used to select many parts that have the same properties. For demonstration, I will first insert a part. Now, using this part, I'm gonna make some tiles. The plugin I'm using right now for building is called F3X. I will be making a tutorial on this in the near future as well. Okay, so here I have three layers. I will be using the Part Picker plugin to select the layer with the same colors. First, you click on the Pick Part button in the plugin and then select the part in one of the layers. Now, in the plugin window, you can see all the properties of the selected part. It also highlights all the parts that have the same properties as the selected part. By clicking the Run Filter button, it will select all the highlighted parts, and now you can edit them however you want. This is very useful for editing similar parts that are spread apart in a large map. I mostly use this plugin for changing their colors. Quick and easy. I am going to repeat the same process for a different layer now. Right, so another function this plugin has is the deselect tool. It is used to deselect a random number of selected parts. For example, I'm going to take all the parts in the first layer. And now I'm going to deselect half of them by pressing the deselect button. As you can see, only half the parts are selected. This technique is useful for making patterns. I'm going to demonstrate another method of how this can be useful. First, select all the parts and then press deselect. That could also be a cool pattern. However, I have something different in mind. The percent slider can be used to adjust the ratio of how many parts will be deselected. After deselecting once, you change the color just slightly. And now we will repeat the same thing again. Change the color slightly again. And repeat this process as many times as you want. Yeah, it feels like something from Minecraft. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, this plugin is most effective when working on large projects. Well, hope this tutorial helped, and you can find the plugin link in the description. Boy. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.